Lesson 6. Building a Simple Game in Scratch Hello and welcome to our Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to create a basic game from scratch. This lesson is all about designing a simple game where your character can move around and interact with objects like catching falling apples or avoiding obstacles. Let's start by choosing a main character for our game. You can select any sprite from the Scratch library. But for this tutorial, let's pick the cat. This will be our main character and it will move around to interact with the objects in our game. Now, let's add some movement. To make the cat move left and right, we'll use the when key pressed block along with the move blocks. Connect these blocks so that pressing the left arrow key moves the character left and pressing the right arrow key moves it right. This lets the player control the character to dodge obstacles or catch objects. Next, we need an object for our character to interact with. Let's add an apple sprite, which will act as the object that our cat needs to catch. We'll position the apple at the top of the screen and use code to make it fall down towards the cat. To make the apple fall, we'll use a repeat block along with the change Y by minus 10 block. This combination moves the apple down by a small amount, creating the effect of gravity. You can adjust the number to control the speed of the fall. Now, let's add some game logic. We'll use an if touching block to check if the cat touches the apple. When this happens, we can add a sound effect to make the game feel more interactive and increase the player's score. This gives the player a reward each time they catch an apple. To keep track of how many apples the player catches, we'll create a score variable. Every time the cat catches an apple, the score will increase by 1. Displaying the score on the screen lets the player see their progress and adds a competitive element. Note that adding a variable for the score will be developed later in a separate lesson. And there you have it. A simple game where the cat catches falling apples. With just a few blocks, we've created a fun, interactive game. You can try adding more objects, increasing the speed, or even adding obstacles to make it more challenging. Now it's your turn to create your own game in Scratch. Use movement, interaction, and scoring to build a game that's uniquely yours. Happy coding and enjoy making your game come to life. If you'd like to see your project featured on our social media channels, simply send it to support at 01.education. We'd be thrilled to share it with our community. Plus, the project that garners the most likes will win an exciting prize. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more resources, follow us on our social media platforms.